eight times Floyd Mayweather got sued. With Floyd Mayweather Jr. being as arrogant and flashy as he is, it's not surprising that he's been a frequent target of lawsuits. In this video, we'll discuss eight legal battles that he's been embroiled in, including one with fellow boxer Manny Pacquiao, and also a certain someone suing him for $20 million. Make sure you watch to the end to find out why. And we'll start the video as soon as you click the like button. Okay, let's go. Number 8. Sued for Missed Payments on Car Loan Taking it back to 2009, just days before his fight against Juan Marquez, which he reportedly earned $10 million for, Floyd was sued by J.P. Morgan Bank for owing over $167,000 on an auto loan that defaulted. The suit claims that in April of 07, Floyd borrowed $415,695 to finance the purchase of a half a million dollar Mercedes Maybach 57S from Fletcher Jones Imports in Las Vegas. The loan had an interest rate of 16%, and Floyd was contractually obligated to make 72 monthly payments of $9,077 before Floyd started to miss payments beginning in February 2008. After another year of missed payments, the bank repossessed the vehicle, with the past due balance growing to over 30 grand. Eventually, the lawsuit was settled and Floyd had to come out of pocket for around $200,000. Number 7. Sued by his HOA Mounting legal troubles. That's right, the boxing champ is now being sued by his homeowners association, which alleges that Mayweather Jr.'s violent meltdowns have become a threat to the gated community and the people who work there. It was 2011 when Floyd was sued by the Homeowners Association at the Las Vegas Southern Highlands Golf Club community, a neighborhood in which he owned a $9.5 million, 12,000 square foot mega mansion. The lawsuit stemmed from a series of confrontations Floyd had with security guards at the gated community. One security guard claims Floyd was verbally abusive and jabbed his finger into his cheek. In another incident captured by TMZ, Mayweather and his entourage engaged in a heated argument with a security guard who wouldn't let them through the gates due to a lack of proper identification. According to the report, the community association alleges that Mayweather Jr. has continuously engaged in hostile harassing and threatening behavior against certain employees and has refused to provide his ID to gate officers. Despite the fact Floyd lost the lawsuit and was ordered to pay $10,000 in damages, he actually still owns his house there, which we know because it was allegedly broken into back in 2017. Number 6. Floyd Gets Sued by Manny Pacquiao For years before they actually got in the ring, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao had been trading verbal jabs against each other, with at one point Floyd going as far as to claim that Pacquiao was taking performance-enhancing supplements. It took me years to get here. You go back, you go back and look at the pictures. At first, his head is small, and then his head is his head all of a sudden just grew. Come on, man, stop, stop this, man. Come on, man. Following these accusations, Pacquiao filed a defamation lawsuit in Las Vegas, with the suit saying that calling a professional athlete a cheater is the most serious charge one can make. Additionally, Pacquiao assured the courts that the accusations Floyd made were baseless and that he had never tested positive for any performance-enhancing supplements. Mark Trados, the lawyer defending Mayweather, contended that the defendant merely questioned Pacquiao's reluctance to do a blood test and that he never actually accused him of taking supplements. The lawsuit went forward for almost three years, and with Floyd not appearing in court enough, Pacquiao won the suit and was awarded $113,000 in legal fees and $774 in various other costs. Despite losing this case, we all know Floyd got the last laugh when he won the long-anticipated Mayweather vs. Pacquiao boxing match, which some dubbed the fight of the century. Number 5. Floyd Gets Sued by a Music Producer If you've ever wondered if boxers get permission to use the music they walk out to before a fight, well, apparently Floyd doesn't. He allegedly jacked a beat from a musician named Anthony Dash and remixed it to use for his entrance music to the 2008 WWE match against Big Show. The lawsuit claimed that the beat had been copyrighted by musician Anthony Dash since 2005 and that he had sent Floyd multiple cease and desist letters, all of which were sent back unopened. Dash, whose lawsuit targeted both Floyd and the WWE, asked for a minimum of $150,000 to settle the issue. In September of 2013, after three years of court battling, Floyd actually took a W and won the lawsuit. According to court filings, the judge ruled that Dash wasn't entitled to any money because he couldn't tangibly prove that Mayweather actually made any money off of it. I don't blame the guy for shooting his shot, because if you had the chance to sue Floyd Mayweather, you probably would too. Number 4. Floyd's XGF sues him for $20 million 
In 2015, Floyd's ex-girlfriend Josie Harris, who is the mother of three of Floyd's children, sued him for $20 million. The defamation lawsuit was launched on the basis that Floyd made false allegations against Josie in an interview with Katie Couric, with him claiming she had substance abuse problems and that she attacked him. Did I restrain a woman that was on drugs? Yes, I did. Her lawyer claimed Floyd's lies to Couric were knowingly fabricated in order to hype Mayweather's upcoming fight with Pacquiao, to avoid bad press by deflecting responsibility for abusing the mother of his children. In 2018, Floyd's team attempted to have the entire case thrown out, but a judge ruled that the defamation suit could continue. Now, as of this last January, the case is still pending, and Floyd has accused Josie of trying to stall the case. According to reports, Mayweather served his ex a request for 58 different documents in court, of which she and her team objected to 23 of them. Who knows what the ruling is going to be, but it's looking like Floyd has the upper hand, considering he obviously has way more money to get a better legal team than his ex. Number 3. A Jeweler Goes After Money May Floyd probably blows more money on jewelry than he does anything else. Aston Martins, Ferraris, and Bugattis, it all still probably doesn't add up to what he spends on his ice. Back in 2015, after Mayweather's win against boxer Andre Berto, he went to The Jewelers Inc., a jewelry store out of Las Vegas, to pick up a $3 million necklace composed of 72 round-cut diamonds. Now, Floyd is not a new face at this store because he also purchased his famous one-of-a-kind $16 million Jacob & Co. watch from the same place. The jewelry company alleged that Mayweather put down $1.6 million on the $3 million necklace that he picked up, but that he hadn't made a payment on it in over six months. They also claimed that Mayweather simply started refusing their phone calls and gave no reason for not paying off the debt. One reason that Floyd may have stopped making payments on the necklace is that he felt that he had been taken advantage of when he bought the $16 million watch. As 50 Cent said on Instagram, they found the one fool in the world dumb enough to buy that watch. As of today, the debt seems to have been settled, but Floyd and the Jewelers Inc. no longer work together, with him taking his business to pristine jewelers in NYC, who he now calls his official jeweler. Number 2. Floyd sued for $2 million for scheme in Nigeria when you hear the words Nigeria and scam, you don't expect Floyd Mayweather being the one accused of scamming hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's literally the exact opposite of what you'd expect. Zinni Media, a Nigerian company, filed a lawsuit in California alleging that they booked Floyd to make five appearances in Nigeria and Ghana in June 2017 for a sum of $375,000. The company claims Floyd made a video confirming the appearances, so they wired who they thought was Floyd a $210,000 advance. Prince, what's up? It's the one and only your man Floyd Money Mayweather. Nigeria, June 12th, June 13th, and June 14th. Nigeria, the motherland prince. I'll see you guys soon. Floyd Money Mayweather. Only days before the scheduled events, Floyd bailed with the Nigerian company, facing scrutiny for their talent not showing up. Floyd's reps apparently apologized and rescheduled for December 2017, and added more appearances to the list, with a new upped price of $550,000 from the original 375. The company claims that Mayweather defrauded them, damaged their reputation, and they asked for $2 million to settle the suit. The lawsuit is still pending, but to me it sounds like they simply fell for a scam from an imposter. I mean, why would Floyd go all the way to Nigeria to make $375,000 when he makes millions of dollars for an appearance in the States? You tell me. Number 1. Floyd and DJ Khalid sued over cryptocurrency You know when you're on Instagram and you see an IG model post a picture with a random product and in the caption it has hashtag ad? Well, both Floyd and DJ Khalid were sued over something similar to this. They were both entangled in the same lawsuit from the SEC, that's the US Securities and Exchange Commission for apparently promoting investments in cryptocurrency companies but failing to reveal that they had been paid to do so. Mayweather promoted a product from a company called Centratech, luring people to invest in the company, for which he was paid a lump sum of $100,000, also receiving an additional 200 grand to promote two other unnamed companies. Floyd settled with the SEC and agreed to not promote any more investments for three years, paying back the 300,000 he earned plus having to pay penalties and interest which probably means he actually paid out closer to around half a million dollars. He definitely didn't want it with the US government. Oh yeah, Khalid was also ordered to pay back $50,000 he earned for promoting investments in similar companies, which he also failed to disclose. Floyd Mayweather has a 50 and 0 boxing record, but sadly he can't say the same when it comes to lawsuits. 
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.